This is Church Organist with another Muse Score tutorial video. This time I'm going to look at tuplets and the way you enter them in Muse Score. Katie Wardrobe has already touched on this subject by showing you how to create triplets in her Muse Score Quick Tips series, which you can find on her Muse Score support site at http www.musescoretips.com To recap on what she shows you, in note entry mode, select the time value of the whole triplet, in this case a crotchet, and press Control 3. You can then enter the triplet notes into the rests Muse Score generates in the usual way. It is worth noting that you don't have to be in note entry mode for the initial generation of the triplets. However, you must have a rest selected, which is equivalent to the total value of the triplet. Pressing Control 3 will generate the rests and enter note entry mode, ready for you to enter your notes. Selecting a semi brief rests generates a minim triplet. Selecting a minim rest generates a crotchet triplet. Selecting a crotchet rest generates a quaver triplet, and so on. There is more you can do with tuplets in MuseScore, however. This time, instead of using Control 3 to generate a triplet, I'm going to open the tuplet menu so you can see the options. So Select the appropriate rest. Now click on Notes and move the pointer over Tuplets to reveal the tuplet menu. You can now see the range of tuplets that MuseScore can create. These range from a duplet through to a non duplet Just select the one you need and the relevant number of rests will be inserted in your score ready for you to enter the notes. The last entry in the menu, Other, requires a little more explanation as it works slightly differently from the main tuplet menu. The first thing to remember about using the custom tuplet dialog is that it is vital that you have the correct rest selected in the score, or it will not work properly. In this case, I'm working on a score in 6-8, and I have selected a dotted crotchet rest. So let's begin by selecting other to open the Create Tuplet dialog. So now I have the Create Tuplet dialog open on the screen. The relation controls the number and type of notes required in the tuplet. The left hand box is the number of notes in the tuplet, and the right hand box the number of notes that would normally take up this amount of time. So if you require four notes in the space of three, enter four in the left hand box, and three in the right hand box. The radio buttons in the lower half of the dialog are options for controlling the display of the tuplet. On the left to display the number, relation or nothing, and on the right whether or not a bracket is displayed. Selecting auto bracket will leave the display of a bracket up to Muse score and depends on whether the notes are beamed or not. Note that when we click on OK, that we now have a minim rest instead of the dotted crotchet rest, 
and that Muse score hasn't selected an appropriate time value in note entry mode. Again, custom tuplets can be created either in or out of note entry mode. So the final step is to enter the four notes. And voila, we have our custom tuplet. Finally, I'm going to show you how you can use the custom tuplet dialog to enter one of the fioratura from Chopin's Impromptu in D flat, Opus 27. The actual note entry is speeded up to save on your time. we have it. Thank you for watching and I hope this helps you.